So I've been a runner my whole life, and then, and then last month I got this news. I don't think you're ever gonna be able to run like you want to with that knee. Yeah. And the idea that I might not be able to run again simply because the cartilage in my knee is messed up is frustrating. If you're like me and your knee is messed up, you want to fix it. And you need to know about cartilage to do that. And you need to know what your options are for cartilage repair. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Today, I'm actually a patient. We're going to figure out what our options are. So I'm just going to give you a background of what happened to me. Injured my knee originally doing gymnastics. Had surgery. Yeah. He feels good. Then I rehabbed it for almost four years, got to the point where I could run again, and then at a soccer game in the Amazon, I injured it again, tore it up, so I had to have surgery for a second time. I'm to the point where I can't actually run. For a long time, I really have been wanting to know what the deal is with my cartilage. There's probably nobody better to talk to than this guy, the cartilage expert, Dr. Fleischley. Of course, the first thing we did was examine the movement of my knee and run over a few cartilage basics. He said cartilage is a bit like the tread on a tire. You only have so much to start with, and over time, you wear it down. And unlike muscle and bone, it doesn't regenerate quickly. Why does cartilage not grow back very well? So cartilage has a, a very poor healing potential. It's several five or so millimeters thick, and it covers the ends of the bones. It has poor blood supply. The cartilage cells, called chondrocytes, have poor capacity to, to migrate to a zone of injury and reproduce. As a consequence, cartilage, when damaged, has a poor healing potential and tends to get worse, not better, over time. Uh, ideally, if you're talking about cartilage restoration, you want to get to these cartilage lesions or cartilage damage areas uh, sooner than that. So essentially, if your cartilage is like the tread on a tire and you puncture that tire, then it's really important to patch it right away or it's going to get worse and worse. In, say, my situation, I have damage to the cartilage. I want to know what the yeah. options are. Well, let's look at your situation. Uh, and while my situation is going to be unique, he walked me through all the options available today. Firstly, you can do chondroplasty, simply shaping that cartilage and taking out any damaged bits. And this, of course, is one thing that I did have done. You could have microfracture, and that's where they put holes into the underlying bone marrow. Another option is a fresh osteoarticular allograph, meaning they take a plug of cartilage and bone from a donor, and they fit it precisely into your damaged area. Some of the newer options include cell-based technologies like ACI, where they essentially take a sample of your own cartilage, then grow it in a lab, then they sew a patch over your damaged area and inject the newly cultured cartilage back in. We biopsy your own cartilage from what's called the intercondylar notch right around here, and we take that cartilage and grow it in a lab, and when a sufficient number of cells have been grown in the lab, we transplant it back into your knee joint typically by sewing a patch over the area of damage and injecting the cells under the patch. A similar cell-based technique is called de novo NT. But in this situation, they use cartilage from juvenile donors under the age of two. The younger the donor cartilage, the better healing potential it'll have. The cartilage is more biologically active. And so the thought is that it'll result in better repair tissue, better, more normal cartilage repair tissue in a quicker amount of time. And so possibly decreasing the uh, length of rehab. In the end, it's a tricky decision. I'm not exactly sure I still know what I should do. The unfortunate thing with cartilage is that once you damage it, especially to the extent that I have, you'll never really be back to exactly where you were before. And part of this whole process is learning the limitations of my own cartilage. But it's good to know that I can pick up a sport like this, where there's a lot less stress on your knees. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something about cartilage. Don't forget to check out the sequel to this one, which is Cartilage Basics. Also, if you're interested in the future of cartilage repair, here's a little behind the scenes clip uh, from my visit to NC State where I was researching cartilage. Okay, this is the future. What we're really trying to do is regenerative medicine and wound healing. Hopefully in the near future is to use the stem cells that we can take from your own fat, uh, make a full osteochondral tissue that will replace basically all the bone and the cartilage and then implant that into your joints. So it will be a less invasive alternative to the full joint replacement.